has this eclipse energy been intense or what yesterday we had a full total solar eclipse over chile and then right around then we had a 6.3 earthquake in chile and now we've just had a very strong magnitude 6.2 earthquake in the philippine sea 19 kilometers south of saragani which just happened and this is leading up to the big jupiter saturn conjunction which some call the christmas star on the 21st and before that tomorrow we have saturn leaving capricorn and going into aquarius and then on the 19th we have jupiter leaving capricorn and going into aquarius so i predicted we will see a big shift this week and what about the sun oh let me tell you it has been very very active and so it will continue to be active probably because we have one sunspot that is rolling away we have two sunspots that are rolling in and this whole pattern looks really weird and then a whole nother sunspot behind it so that is like four sunspots so early after solar minimum has ended and we head into solar maximum and all this activity and intensity included a c-class solar flare yesterday of a 2793 i think and so buckle up kids plus you got mars and aries until january 6th so people are still going to be fighting tooth and nail over just about everything but a lot of people just want to hear about the big bad nor easter that is coming tomorrow night wednesday through thursday that could drop up to two feet of snow a lot of areas getting over 10 inches we're talking about places that get absolutely hammered well that's a hyperbolic term but yeah anything over like six inches is a good amount of hammering i guess that's what she said oh and sure yeah technically it's downright cold in texas but look over here you see some fog that's good to know so yeah we're gonna get a lot of wild weather and especially a couple of days after the eclipse we look for a big storm and so as we get our nor'easter moving up in and out over the next 48 hours we get our next storm coming in for the pack northwest and so we plan on it being a very active weird wild not only week but 16 day end to 2020 and ladies and gentlemen how did you feel about this year well you got time to tell me all about it i checked in on it Did you know i made a thousand videos this year that's like 83 videos a month man so i feel like i get i've done a good job but yeah if you've been paying attention california has been rocking with a couple fours of earthquakes and nevada as well and then what is this earthquake up here that would be a 3.2 in washington all right yeah as you can see this was has a 6.1 in the philippines um how deep was it 26 kilometers deep so it was semi-shallow and if snow maps is your thing then wow you must love weather twitter right now but yeah we got winter storm watches alerts warnings up all across the board and ice ice is the thing that's very dangerous and kills people so please avoid that shit like plague some people are probably like ice is a hoax because you know it's a sign of the times yeah 4.0 earthquake suck struck san jose early this morning we've got a giant iceberg that may hit georgia island in the southern atlantic which doesn't sound great we'll continue to monitor but yeah where exactly will this nor'easter hit and exactly how many inches will your town city get yeah i don't know we'll have to pay attention though oh my gosh golly dang it what a year yeah it does look like some people are going to get some christmas snow but i think we're entering into a wave after Ooh, look at that thingy into, into a wave after wave winter pattern where you know we've seen five nor'easters in a single month before it's possible I'm not saying that's going to happen but i am saying the northeast coast and the pacific northwest are about to get hammered and pounded again and again and again but we ain't no spring chickens we didn't fall off the turnip truck and this is not our first rodeo we are asteroid fight club and we are awesome and we have survived a very dangerous and tumultuous year so for that i am very grateful blessed and i feel pretty lucky how about you dave e showing us the arctic air maritime air line you know what i'm saying 
So I'm showing it to you. All right, now that the eclipse has hit me like a hammer, and it seems like my hackers have calmed down. Boy, they have been very upset the last few days, and definitely since the election. Uh, I will try to stay as active as the sun, keeping you guys update and peppering your faces with snow maps. Sound great? I love you. Stay cool. Peace out. And yeah, play defense. That's your thing, buddy. Peace out. Talk to you soon. God bless everyone.